Oh my gosh. There's like three giants over there. Oh my goodness. There's a massive orange iguana over there. I have nothing. My garden was green. I had okra, I had spinach, I had celery. The plum trees, look at it. Every time it's rough, they're eating it out. These gardens, what are they putting here? They put soap in bags. Look at this. Irish Spring. Open the door, Sandy. Ooh. Huh? Oh, my gosh. Ooh, it's a giant. I'm always chilling. <laughs> My dad jumps here. Trying to see if your dad can catch another big iguana. It's not even a big iguana. That's not big? No. I catch big ones. Oh, that thing is big. I catch big ones. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is massive, dude. Two of them, right from the same spot. Chris is just plucking these things left and right. <laughs> yeah, it's big, bro. Massive. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Two of them right in the same spot. Yeah, and there's more over there. And apparently there's more. Look at the size of these things. Some people say these things don't get that big. That right there is a big lizard. It don't even much matter. Straight vegetarian too. All they're eating is grass, flowers, and fruits. And they're getting they're getting this size. So only imagine if they ate meat. Legs. Imagine that they ate meat. <laughs> they oh. eat dinosaurs. <laughs> All right, female and male. I think the the males will have these pores inside here, mm -hmm. and uh, female won't have anything. Just like a line, maybe, or if anything. Mm -hmm. But the, these. The yeah, yeah, I know. The pores. Yeah, they I think they do that with uh, scent or something. That's what people say. Didn't really know that, but you know. Um, but that's, you never that's, know. Yeah, you never. Yeah, you never know what they have it, but the, for sure the males definitely have those. Yeah, for so sure. Yeah, it's definitely a boy, 100%. There's so many, it's better without the dogs because we don't want them to scare them. Oh, look at this. Yeah, that's a beast. No, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can I catch one? Dang. Can I catch one? Okay. Wow. Oh, look. Dang, yeah. That one, that one is blue. 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 See, it's, it's green, but you see the azul, right? The blue. Or the, uh, yeah. Blue. Let me show you, Andy. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, so we just was talking to one of these residents right here. She was like, asking us what do we do with the iguanas. We told them that we eat them. She's like, how do you cook them? And basically, we told them two different ways that are popular. Soup and curry. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing with these guys right here. So the perfect sizes. He got it in the air. First you wanna with the with the rod, right? <laughs> Dang, Chris is, Chris is plugging them left and right, man. <laughs> left and right. <laughs> Nicely played, man. You got him. <laughs> So this right here guys is a bridge as you guys can see 
is gonna be under repair here soon. Just, you know, right there. I think the bottom is good, but check this out. Bunch of fruit trees, sea grapes, there's bananas. Look really closely. Iguanas. I have no idea. We do have a security guard right here though. We might have to go on the other side. Who phone do it? Everybody, man. Everybody. Well, paisano, paisano, paisano. Yo, Chris is good with that thing. He's gonna get that big one too. That's a nice one. Another one. Yeah, there's one over there. You got it. Some, okay. Another good one right here. Another good one. It's like so Godzilla like. Monster iguanas coming out right now, right before this rain. Look at that beast! It's like they all just came out of a, a tree or something. All right, we're going over there. See if we can catch them. That's full. It's just a whole field full of iguanas. Yeah, double, double here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Massive iguana. <laughs> like, okay. Hoo -hoo. Yink. They got him. These right here are banana trees. They do produce nice bananas. For some reason or another, iguanas like to hang out by them. So today, we're going to be with our friends, Chris from the CNL family, and his friends from up north. And we're going to be combing these areas, looking for giant iguanas. Nice, it's like a pollo. Like a pollo. <laughs> so I got a question for you. Do iguanas like to eat bananas? Oh my gosh. There's like three giants over there. They're massive. Everyone walk on this side. I'll get him. Massive orange iguana over there. They're just moving together like a flock of chicken. Oh my gosh. Hatchling habitat. Iguanas. Messing with these gardens. What are they putting here? They put soap in bags. Look at this. Irish Spring. Try to just, I guess, repel an iguana. Soap. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. You got like 20 already. Is that to me? Yeah. You give me one, man. Huh? Give me one, man. You want one? Yeah. You, oh. Are you gonna eat it? Green. I had okra, I had spinach, I had celery, oh, the plum trees, look at it. Every time it grows, they're eating it out. 
But it's nice. Come anytime and catch it. Oh, he's on. Oh, he's on a big one. Let's see if he can double up. Oh, there's a big one right there. Oh my gosh. Get it, get it. Oh yeah. Nice. Nice. It's the big one too. There's a bunch of chicken ducks. We got green chickens, we got chicken ducks. Dude, look at these. They're star fruits, man. Star fruit. Do you have to cook it? No, you, you can eat it like that. It's yeah. it might be a little sour or sweet, but it's it's good. What is the name of this? Star fruit. Star fruit? Yeah. Next to these bananas. There it is. I'll come in and grab them for you. Yeah. Oh. Look at this. Ah, oh, look. There's one of them. Nice. Wait, what is that? What is oh, it's black, that black thing? Oh, no. There's a big one right by that tree, though. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Juan is trying to be dominant at the base of a coconut tree. He's got it. He's got it. A little chicanta. Little iguana has no idea. Yeah, I'll help you. You guys can see it right there. The silly iguana is just sitting up on that coconut tree. But little does he know there's a bunch of bees making a nest. He's trying to get to the sun. To absorb, absorb some solar energy, but a bunch of bees just couldn't have cared less. No, 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 no. See a big one? Oh, yeah, oh wow. Another one over there. Oh my goodness. The one is just they just for whatever reason they want to be a coconut. They keep, just keep going out to the trees. <laughs> this backyard right here, like you guys can see a lot of iguanas, they're using soap. To try to repel iguanas. Uh, I heard some stuff that uh, basically, you know, Irish Spring, it has like some essence in it that actually repels uh, just animals in general. They don't like it. You guys can see there's a big flock of these chicken ducks right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight chicken ducks. They're making people big ups. This is, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, one of their uh, favorite dishes the aki, saltfish. These plant protectors right here is what I recommend you get. You can see the tops have been missing, or there's no tops, but you just get this. But these people did good, but they forgot to put a top over. You gotta put a top to stop iguanas from trying to go inside of it, because as you heard from one of the residents, there are iguanas out here like crazy. I wish I was rolling right there. One iguana just suplexed him out of the tree, <laughs> like some WWE, look, there he goes. See the iguana got suplexed from another iguana. Now he's trying to climb the fence. He will try to climb up that fence and go back there for whatever reason. He's just gonna hang out. Oh, 
right, they got it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're welcome. Where the empty lot is there? Yeah. It has a big tree that's half them there. Oh my goodness. Right by the bridge, another one has been recovered. He says she sees an iguana. Oh my gosh, there's one just sitting right there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Oh wow. What in the world happened over here? Okay, no, you're gonna go spook us. The problem is not like one, the problem is with the Arizona. Think so. All right. <laughs> We are done for the day. This is the time we are going to count out all the iguanas that we removed at today's jobs with Chris from the CNO family and his friends that are visiting. About to see it all right now, everything that we got. She's mad that the fun is over, but yeah, it is a great time coming out here. That's why we recommend you guys book your tours. Come on out in the field with us. Oh my goodness. The size of some of these. How many? You get them up with that.